What's going on guys? Just wanted to do a quick video here of the Freewing F14 64 millimeter setup. Um, been watching the guys do their, their flights and their maidens and I'm seeing a lot of guys uh, struggling with the landings because it looks like the airplane is um, tip stalling as, as guys are exceeding that critical angle of attack. So I want to kind of address some of those issues here. Um, from the video you can see that I'm actually running full span flaps on my jet and I run on the uh, outboard uh, aileron which i use as now a flap I use them as a as a flapper on or spoiler on where it goes up when the uh elevons are doing their job in the back um, and then when i sweep the wings i have them turned off so here what you are seeing is um, a couple of touch and goes that i went out and did some bounces in the pattern um, and you'll see the first couple approaches uh, i made some adjustments and shoot a little long uh, and then uh, start to dial it in One of the things I started doing differently uh, with the 64 millimeter than uh, a lot of guys have, are doing is I'm actually running forward of the recommended book CG uh, by about five millimeters. Uh, this is on an Admiral 5000 pack for weight reference, um, but I am running a little bit forward, which kind of tames down some of that um, stall characteristics. So right there, you can see I went a little long, um, really aiming for the front half of those white marks there. They're the simulated thousand foot markers or the captain's bar, so they, we call them. Um, and went a little long for it, went around, uh, looking for a second approach here coming up. So went a little long again, uh, was unhappy with the approach, put power in and went around. Um, so the second approach you'll see that I actually try, uh, try to aim a little short uh, and do a little over rotate and actually get the airplane to get into a bit of a stall condition. But with that nose heavy, um, that five degree or five millimeters forward, you'll see how it recovery is. So as you see right there, uh, you, I get into a little bit of the over-rotate, and as soon as I see it, I just relax the back pressure, and with a little bit of that nose weight, or that, that five millimeter forward of the recommended CG, the airplane recovers quite nice. It breaks the stall, nose drops in, and I'm, I'm off to flying again. Okay, so the third time I'm going long and I'm like, all right, I'm going long, going short. Let's just hammer this in and focus on putting it on the front half of the of the thousand footers there. So we're really getting a more uh, understanding or better understanding of my energy management with this new uh, up elevator uh, flat mix setting that I've got in there. So hopefully in this next one, we'll get it hammered down to a, a right right in the zone. All right, better, better. Uh, towards the middle of the zone, but uh, getting getting closer into that mark that I really want. So I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable where the power needs to be, uh, like in this new elevator up uh, mix set on the, on the jet. So hopefully uh, we'll just follow through and just keep aiming for that front half of the zone. All right, about the same as before, but still working on hammering down to the front half of the zone. Uh, and actually talk about uh, on my approaches there, one of the things I'm trying to do is be really consistent with where I turn base. It's at the white pole out from the field there. And then aiming to put the airplane in what I call the gun sight, that V shape in the trees there, in order to get the perfect lineup uh, towards those captain's bars. Okay, finally, we're getting towards the front half. Um, getting more comfortable with where the power needs to be and that, and that approach speeds that I'm doing with this new uh, elevator setup. Um, but now let's just work on some consistency. So back into the pattern for some more bounces. All 
All right, so that's what I'm looking for. Really working on getting to the front half of the zone on that one, managing that nice smooth power all the way to the ground and then ease back for the flare and then power in for the go. Uh, this next one, we're just gonna keep hammering down those uh, uh, techniques of base at the pole, so both poles coming up. And this is actually gonna be a full stop, so let's just uh, aim a little shorter on this one, look for the gun sight. Uh, a little short on the gun sights, add the power back in a little bit to get you back on glide path, easing it out, powers out all the way down, touch a little early, and that's all right for a full stop. All right, guys, that's going to pretty much cover down for a couple bounces in a pattern for setting the airplane up. Again, I'm running 5 millimeters forward from the book recommended CG underneath the wing root glove, not the one on the uh, the wings, but on, on the, the fuselage itself. Uh, on an Admiral 5000, I'm running full span flaps. Uh, and I actually did change the, the gyro settings. I went up to about 85% on the aileron and about 70% uh, on the elevator. That's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and uh, ask away. But uh, thanks for watching the video. See you soon.